Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to use the edge extrude tool. Now when I say edge extrude, I'm not, I'm not referring to selecting an edge and extruding like this. I'm also not referring to polygon extrusion. I am referring to, let me change the object color. When we have, let's say some complexity here, when we select this edge and we use this extrude tool right here, we get extrusion height and extrusion base width. So if you click on cancel, you'll cancel this box. If you click on OK, you will close it and apply that. If you click on apply though, you will actually just have that take place and you can keep on changing it to get different results. So then what you can do is deselect, select this edge, select this one, loop it, change this further on. As you can see guys, this is a very cool method to get all sorts of cool results. Apply, you can select these further changes. So as you can see, we get these kinds of very fast details here, these kinds of seam details that we can use. We can select this loop. It's now happening right here. Apply. Then we can select these. Change some things around here. Apply. So we can just kind of keep going with this. What I also like to use extrude for is when I want to, for example, split this up, but I don't want it to be just like, I don't want it to abruptly just end right here. So what I mean by that is, if I duplicate this, for example, if I select these polygons and detach this, I can now, for example, make this, it's now a separate object. I can give this a different color, for example. But now there's going to be a very abrupt ending right here. And it's not going to capture any highlights or anything like that. So what I like to do is to actually double click on this and then use extrude and then have the extrusion base width be zero and pretty much get this right here. Now what I can do is chamfer with an amount of zero and have it be open. Now when I go into element, this is now actually a separate object right here. But it's got a little bit of edges right here. It's got a little polygons right here. So that when we look at it, when we subdivide, for example, we're going to have a little bit of that nice highlight being captured, that nice little shadow. So unlike with this, if we subdivide this, let me just make it the same color. If we subdivide this, there's going to be just a very abrupt stop right here. As you can see, no nice little depth there, no nice little abyss, no highlights being captured, just a complete stop. But if we use this method, we get that nice little kind of abyss, nice little shadows and highlights being captured, just that nice little extra little bit of detail there. The nice thing we can do is that, let me just insert loops through here, is that now that we've got this, we can have another object here. And in order to do that, we can, for example, select this, hold shift, left click, left click, and kind of detach that as a clone, select our new object. And now we can change the object color. And so now what I can do, for example, is flip the faces, select this and apply symmetry on the Z axis. That now gives us this. We can apply symmetry again. And so we can also maybe weld the vertices. And so what that gives us is this kind of object that is resting inside this kind of prepared area. And we can turbo smooth this. And so we've got this nice little prepared object. We can even use a little bit of a push modifier. Kind of, kind of push inward so it's not completely flush with it. And now we've got this happening. We can then, for example, you know, just play around with it, guys. You can get really cool results just by doing very basic things. So if I insert a loop through here and then kind of maybe just move this, I now have this area opened up. You know, now I've got that happening. And I can use extrude on this. I 
can select this and kind of deselect that. Now we've got it happening right here. For the details. So Extrude is one of those kind of under, underappreciated tools, but it can be very useful in the right situations. Quickly get these kinds of details. Thank you for watching and take care.